I'm learning Perry Vov Hmm? Three pages under the parent. Uh, in. In the Lusisoy de Atura. Kalashem is Amun by Avram Kodesh. All the names of Hashem that are mentioned by Avram are holy. And uh, we'll go down. Avzeh Shenema, that's what it says. Adoy Noi. Even though I'm so sichem be necho, it means my master, do not leave me. Harayu kodesh, it is holy. And uh, this is interesting because the Rambam, as we noted before, doesn't mention it among the seven names that are forbidden to be destroyed. And um, even for need, do not leave me. And Rashi and Chumash explains another explanation that Aram said to the main. Angel of the three that were in front of him. Going to that, there Adoni means it's a secular name and it's not holy. All the All the words that are mentioned by Loit uh, are when he mentions my master is not referring to God, but it's referring to the angels themselves because it's except for when Lloyd said I'll know Adoni he no motzachin abdechochin veinecho where Lloyd says please before when he's told to flee to the hills he says I'd rather go to Tzoa he says please uh, I found favor in your eyes and we learned in Shuis Masech the Shuis 35b somebody has in his hands to Kill and to cause the life, that's how God is Borahu. And the post like it's written, Alehem, he said to them, it seems he was speaking to the angels. But I guess the Mishnah writes in the name of the Ritva that to them means in front of them. Rashi there answers this in a different way and explains that first he said, please to them. And towards God, he continued to say, Adoy Noi. And therefore, the, the the enunciation proves this because it says "adonoi" with a with a comment, which is a "oi" sound, rather than "ni," my master. Call Hashem Samuel and give us Binyamin. What we find regarding the uh, mountain of Binyamin and Shoftim is Kodesh, is holy, because Bnei Yisrael. Fought the children of Binyamin after the uh, situation, the incident with the Pelegish in Givo, which was the concubine in Givo, and they asked in the Orm Vatumim, they received an answer, Vayim Hashem Yehuda Betchila, it said Hashem said Yehuda should go first. And still they were, they uh, at the beginning they lost the battle. Second time, it says, Yim Hashem, Olu Elov. The second time, they were again told to go forward. They lost. Only in the third time, they received a, an answer. Hashem said, go up, because tomorrow, I will give them in your hand. And again, more, there's a disagreement. If the first two times are holy or secular. Abeleza is of the opinion that they are secular. And uh, can I God then tell them to go up? And that they should not. Be successful now. Yeshua says it's holy because the when they were asked that they should go uh, when when the Orm of the Tumor was asked that they didn't clarify whether they should they're going to win or lose. But the third time they asked, "Will we succeed?" And therefore, according to uh, the uh, according to Yeshua, they're all holy. Rambam codifies the halacha according to Yeshua. All the names there are Kodesh. Everything said regarding Micho, which we find the idol of Micho and Shoftim, is, is, is secular. And when Shevet Don asked the Kohen about the idol of Micho, if they should have waged war with Bnei Laish, and he answered them in the name of Hashem, they are not God's names. In the Gemara and Shuas, they said all the Shemois are secular. And well, that makes a differentiation between where it's written Yud Kei Vav Kei, which are holy, to where it says Elikim, Elihim, which would be secular because it refers to idols. Except for the passage Lamed Aleph, the entire days of the house of God in Shiloh. The Ram codifies the Aloha with the Tanakamo. 
that even Yudke Vavke that are written there are secular. The Ravaz brings two opinions in the in the early commentaries, uh, whether the Tanoim disagree even with regard to the name Yudke Vavke or only regarding the name God or Master. The reason is that the Yudke Vavke is secular because the the idol worshippers wanted to cause their idols to be considered uh, gods and therefore they use the shame yud ke vav ke, yeah, which re- infers that they were referring to Hashem just to prove their point but it was it was it, it's a falsehood but by base of the Kimba Shiloh the house of God in Shiloh even the Rambam agrees that it's a holy name even though it's written like that all the names are secular because that posting is referring to what the Novi said. And Ramam uh, did not have to explain that because it's not talking about what the idol worshippers said. That's which is fine in Novois, is Kodosh, is holy. When Isabel, the wife of Achov, uh, hired witnesses, they should say witness, they should say mm-hmm. testimony against Novois Yisraeli that he cursed. God and the King, in order to uh, uh, give him the death penalty and to and to be able to inherit his his vineyard, uh, that name of God which is mentioned there is se- is secular, and no one disagrees about this in the Gemara. Call Shlomo and Kodesh. The word Shlomo that's found in Song of Songs is Kodesh, because the intent is for God. S- uh, uh, sing to he that peace is his at Shloimoy that uh, peace is his and Arayu Kishar Hakinuim it's like an, another uh, connotation of God the difference is if a person swears falsely with this name that he doesn't know he and at the end he admits that he didn't know now he has to bring a korm shvur, a korm that's brought for a false oath. So, so too, somebody who curses his, his friend with a uh, connotation, he gets malchus. Chutz mizeh, except for we find the shiur a thousand to shloimoi, and two hundred to those who keep its fruits. Here, the word shloimoi is secular. The Ran questions. How the Ramam decide that this word is Shlomo, Shlomo is secular? Shmuel says in the Gemara, it's a holy name. I guess the Mishnah explains the Rambam assumes that the Bryce, he learns the Bryce in its simple understanding. And since that's the understanding of the Tanakhama, Ram took his uh, his opinion that they, there it is secular. They those say, there's another post in Shia Hashirim, which is secular. Here's the bed that's before Shlomo. That when Shlomo was a fearful uh, from the demon Ashmalai, he placed 60 Giboyim around his bed. Every time it says king in Daniel, it is secular. It means Nebuchadnezzar. Because the mission question is, what does Ram mean called Machayo? Every word of Malchaya. Of the Sefer Daniel, it's only written one time. That could be every time, which is secular, and one other time, which is Kurdish. It was he mean call? How do you say all every time? And he explains that it doesn't mean to the Malchaya, the word itself. Every time the Daniel mentions Melech, king, it's secular, except Chutz Mizeh, except for this one. I know Malchum Melech Malchaya. And that is. I am the king of all the kings, and and it is like the, the hmm, other uh, connotations that refer to Hashem. When you write the Shem Hashem with two Yudin to say that it's the Shem Hashem, when more writes it, you can erase it if he needs to be so. Hashem writes the name of the two Sadeshin. Only if it's for great need. The reason is that you can uh, uh, that you you're allowed to erase it. The girl explains 
since they're not the letters of Hashem, even though it, it hints at Hashem, you can erase it because it's only like other connotations. When you have three Yudin, have you ever seen three Yudin together? Then they, they used to write it that way. The Rebaz writes in the Chuvas, you should not erase them because they are turning Kenegan the Minyan Shem Avaya in my If you take Yud Kevok, it adds up to 26 with the four letters, is 30.